Well, Wichita Falls' longest-running pumpkin patch is returning for year number 26. Natalie McCain visited University United Methodist Church today. So, Natalie, they're getting ready and getting all decked out for autumn. Yeah, Carney, that's right. But between its pumpkin patch tradition and just its third pumpkin festival coming up, church members say it's more than just family fall fun. It's a chance to bridge the congregation with the community. Even if the air is lacking a certain fall crispness, University United Methodist is ready for all things autumn. We do get to see so many of the repeat faces coming and going and, and new faces. Um, it's a joy to see them year after year. Returning for year 26, hundreds of pumpkins await carving. While Wichita Falls longest running pumpkin patch may be a staple for some, senior pastor Zach Landis hopes their third pumpkin festival gets the community equally pumped up. Our Boy Scout troop has been doing um, a camp out every, every year in the pumpkin patch. And then they've been watching movies up on our, on the side of the church. And we're like, why don't we just open that up to other, to the community? For church members like Debbie Vancey, both autumnal activities bring out the best parts of the season. We really enjoy having the pumpkins out here for, to bring in that season. And the fellowship that we have out here is just beyond words. It's a chance to bridge the congregation with the community. With Floral Heights closing down, they've actually merged with us and with First Methodist, and it's kind of like we've had a revival here. And for Landis, both are more than meets the eye. They carry on family traditions. He had been coming every year with his mom to the pumpkin patch every year of his life and is now bringing his son and his wife and his, and his mom, the grandma. That is such a cool thing when you're thinking it's just a pumpkin patch, but it means a lot to a lot of people. As the church sets out for Fall Fellowship. Now the festival kicks off this Saturday night from 6 to 8 with games, food, and it's the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Yancey says all are welcome for the free festival. Just don't forget your lawn chairs. For pumpkin patch hours, click inside this story on our website. Oh, I bet they're going to have a big turnout. I know. Even though we're not getting that rain that we mentioned earlier, this is a really great opportunity. Take the opportunity to enjoy this nice weather and get sure, out there and enjoy yeah. that pumpkin patch. It's going to be a good time. Mm -hmm. Natalie, thank you very much.